Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken, and today's experiment is the bowling ball density experiment. Will it sink or float? As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is bowling balls, a fish tank or a clear container, and some water. Special thanks to Double Decker Lanes for allowing me to uh, use the bowling balls for this experiment. And if you're ever in the area, check them out. The information's in the description below. All right, welcome. Um, um, today's experiment is about density. A couple months ago I did an experiment with a regular Coke and a Diet Coke and um, to see which one would sink and which one would float. And we found out the Coke would sink because it had uh, more density, it had more sugar, it weighed more, even though they had the same circumference and size. So I'm here at my local bowling alley, Double Decker Lanes. You can look in the description if you're ever in this area and you want to go. This is a great bowling alley. Um, they actually were generous enough to let me borrow three bowling balls without charging me for shoes. All right, so that's a pretty good deal. Also, they didn't charge me for the bowling balls, so it's just pretty incredible. We're going to see if these bowling balls will sink or float just like we did with the Coke and Diet Coke. Now, the National Bowling Association says that all balls have to be 26.7 to 27 inches in circumference. So every bowling ball has the same circumference. They're all in the same size in that sense. But the density is a little bit different. So we're going to make a prediction. you got to predict on, we're going to start with uh, this one right here, if it's going to sink or float. So go ahead and make your prediction, and I'll show you. So here we go. We got the first one here, and we're going to put it in. And your prediction is it floats. So even though the holes fill up, um, air comes out, it still floats. That's pretty incredible uh, for this ball to float. So pull it out. Do the second one right here, and it, it, it definitely sinks. So this one here sank where this one here uh, floated. So that's pretty incredible. Now we're, for the last one, we're going to do the last one, the green one here, sink or float. And come down to the deeper end. And it too sinks. Definitely sinks right there. And the science behind this is when the ball is submerged in the water, it displaces the volume in the water. According to Archimedes' principle, the water can push back with a force, buoyancy, equal to the weight of the water that has been displaced. A beach ball may have the same volume as a bowling ball, but it has a much smaller mass. When the beach ball's in the water, it displaces the same mass as the water that's equal to its own mass. If you were to try to push on the beach ball down and displace more water, the water would push back up with a great force with the weight of the, of the beach ball. I'm sure you've all felt this before at the beach, trying to push that ball down. Well, when you push the ball, the water keeps pushing the beach ball to a float, no matter how hard you try to push it. Buoyancy is the upward force that we need in water to stay afloat. A buoyant forces are why we feel so much lighter in a swimming pool. Our bodies are mostly water, so the density is fairly close to the water we're in. Because of this, the average person only needs a little bit of extra buoyancy to afloat, like a life jacket provides that extra lift, or a float tube. So you saw the secret right there, is right when it spins around, this is an eight pound ball. So water density will float a bowling ball that is 12 and a half pounds um, and heavier will sink. Anything lighter than 12 pounds, and this is an eight pound ball, it's going to float. And so that's the difference between which one sinks or float. So the green one was a 12 and a half, and that's why it sank. And the other red one, and the red one, of course, is 14. So if we look again, we have uh, the eight pound, which floats because it's under the 12 and a half pound. Uh, the 12 and a half pound here, the XL, that sank because it was right at that borderline. If we had a 12, it would have came up about halfway in the middle. Couldn't find a uh, 12 even. And of course, a 14 and it sank. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. And if you're in our area, Check out Double Decker Lanes, um, as I much appreciate their uh, generosity to allowing me to uh, uh, show you this experiment. Thanks for watching. 
Check out the uh, sinker float with the Coke and Diet Coke up in the upper left hand corner or any of these other experiments I've done. If you try this experiment, go to your local bowling alley and ask them if you could borrow some bowling balls and let me know in the comments below your results. Thanks for watching.